Hey, it's Matt the Momo Hunter from McGee Farms, and today we're going to be putting some hooks on the bucket of the tractor, and they sell some of them online. I've seen some different kits. I uh, figured I'd give a try with these tow hooks. They sell them at Harbor Freight. I've used them on Jeeps in the past, and uh, we're going to try using them on the bucket of the tractor for... Uh, for some chains, for lifting stuff, for a few other options where we're kind of needing them. And what I've done is I went at first and I measured out. You got about an inch right here and it was two inches what I need to go through on the bucket of the tractor. So the bolts that came with them were no good. I ran up to the farm and home store and I bought some longer bolts. These are three and a half inches, which should be just the right uh, length that I need, right size, and uh, I've got my drill here, I've got my drill bits, so we're going to go on over to the tractor and get it set up and start mounting these. So we got our LS tractor, and we're going to mount them on the LS bucket first, got a little snow, we're going to knock that snow off, and... I'm going to get the hook exactly where I need it, probably probably going to be about right here. And I've got a Sharpie, I'm going to go in in the little holes, and I'm going to mark where I need to drill at, and then get the drill out, and we're going to drill through the top of the bucket here, and get it ready to go, nice and simple. All right, so we got the holes drilled, we got the first one mounted, and uh, actually with this LS tractor, uh, it ended up that I needed the longer bolt for the front because it is kind of wide, but then it's just a little ways back. So I used the original bolt for the second one on there. But I need to tighten it up a little bit. I mean, it's tight, but not as tight as it needs to be. And I'm going to go around to the other side and start drilling the holes for the second one. Uh, if you've got battery power drills, my Craftsman drill, that's uh, that's a good drill, decent drill. The uh, impact driver, I couldn't get a bit big enough in it. And uh, the regular one, oh, I'd get hole drilled, maybe a little less than getting the hole drilled, like almost all the way through. And then I'd have to go charge the battery. So it did take a little time, but uh, so far I do like the results so far. But let's get the next one. All right, so we got everything finished. And uh, kind of give you a little little bit of what it looks like on the tractor. Got it in. Got a little touch-up paint with them. Put the bolt underneath. You really don't stick down that far. Same over here. We tried it out a little bit and uh, didn't do too bad. And it didn't take much time really to do it. It took more time charging the batteries than anything else. But if this inspired you, if it helps you out, gives you some ideas on your tractor, uh, hey, great. I'm happy to help. It's Matt the Momo Hunter from McGee Farms. As always, you know, uh, please consider subscribing to our channel. Maybe give us a like, leave a comment. It helps out the channel, and it is all appreciated.